welcome back everybody we are just cranking on our little monkey today so we are continuing our beginner's guide and in this tutorial we are going to be specifically focusing on our align tools and aligning shapes so last tutorial we just kind of slapped down a bunch of things we went through how to do some different ways of just getting down the shapes and in this tutorial we are going to start aligning and going through that whole checklist so we are going to just make sure that everything is nice and centered on our monkey and we are going to have some fun. So again, I am pushing a two screen approach. So make sure that you have the tutorial on your phone rather than toggling back and forth on your computer screen to YouTube back to Illustrator. That's going to drive you bonkers. So make sure you guys are following along and having some fun. So let's do this. I am going to come back over to our layers and all I want to do is really just let's just go and start from the back and work our way forward. So let's do this. I'm just going to hide this for right now because I'm going to be opening up our align panel. So our align panel is just hanging out over here. I'm going to do our little show tip so you can see what it's going to look like. Next, here is the major one you want to be looking for. So the align to is going to be something that you always want to be paying attention to in our checklist. So checklist number one, what are the shapes I want to align? Checklist number two is really double check what we're aligning to before coming over and clicking. I will probably tell you most of you have done the, these before. So you're aligning the button itself is perfect. Like your thought process is probably dead on. The thing that everybody forgets is what am I aligning to and grouping. So those are the two things that we're going to really hammer home right now. So I have my black arrow, black arrows V. I am going to select these two shapes and right now I want them to be centered across each other. So what I want to do is come over, align to selection, and then I want to make sure that these are aligned to their center. So there's a little bit of a nudge. I'm going to zoom in because some of these might be pretty subtle. That looks good. So now that I, these two are centered, I want to come in and then group them. So I want to group them, grab this other guy, and now I want to make sure that these are all centered to the middle of the artboard. And now they're all moving together. Now I'm going to do this. If you say, well, why do we have to group everything? And I can already tell this is going to happen to some people. That if I don't group things and I say, hey, I want to center to the middle, that's where I want. I am centered to the artboard. That is also correct. And then I do this, everything starts collapsing. So if I have two shapes on each side, that is a good signal that you want to be grouping. So I'm going to group, grab that guy again, centered. That is good. So we are going to lock out that layer. That one is good to go. All right, let's do it again. So I'm going to grab both of those eyeballs. I'm just going to hide my layers so we aren't confused with this align panel. So again, I want these to be centered across each other. Our little double check before I click anything, I want to do the selection. Let's do centered across. That one didn't move very well. We placed it pretty good. Now, whenever I do it, yours might be a little bit more off. So just double check. I want to group those two. So I'm going to select my, I guess, I, what do we call it? Like cheek, grab those eyeballs. And now I want to make sure that we are aligning to the artboard. And then I want all of those to be centered down the middle. That looks good. So before we click off of this one, let's grab both of those ears. Do the same thing. I want to align to the selection first. Let's do middle. Let's group. And then for these, I'd want, I'm not going to grab anything else. I just want to align those both to the artboard. So let's go right into the middle and they might be a little bit off and then we'll just center them that way. So you kind of can start seeing the process. We kind of start with two on both sides. We align them to selection, we group them, and then we start to align to the artboard. All right, let's do one more. Let's do these eyeballs. I'm gonna lock this guy out. And whenever we build in multiple layers, I don't know if you guys can see that multiple things are selecting. So what you want to do is just make sure that things are locked out and only deal on one layer. 
So it's really, really nice that we can just kind of focus on one layer, but if you have everything unlocked below it, it's going to drive you bonkers. All right, let's do this. I'm going to grab that one. Notice that I have already grouped this eyeball. So all I have to do is hold down shift, grab that one. Let's come back over to our line. Just double check. So I always want you to come here first because almost every single time it's, it's always the wrong one. So just double check. I want to go in the middle. Now we can come back and group them. And then I can come back, line to artboard, and now I can just double check that they are in fact in the middle. That looks good. Let's just grab that little nose, artboard, centered. All right, that is good to go. So with the align panel, what's really, really nice is what you're aligning is usually you are again, that your thought process is probably perfect. The major one is just making sure that, hey, I'm grouping things. I'm starting with the align to selection, then I group it, and then I start coming back and aligning to the artboard. So this is what we're gonna do. We are done with the align panel. I think that is gonna be pretty good for right now. Again, just practice. I know it seems like there's a lot of little steps in there. So just kind of do a little bit of a thought process, grab your stuff, take your time, look at that align too, and then click it, and then things won't be bouncing and flying all over the place for you. So this one, it can be frustrating, just that's why we want to take our time with it. On the next video, what we are going to be doing is we are going to start to combine shapes. And we are going to go through Pathfinder a tiny bit as well as the Shape Builder. And then we are going to start to look at that mouth as well as the eyebrows. And he's going to be coming along. So all of the building will be done in the next tutorial.